Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. It's 2020. This is the first video of 2020 on the channel, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and I just want to do a quick shout out and thank you guys for all the support this year on all the videos in 2019. I started off 2019, and I don't like to talk about numbers a ton, uh, but I think this is worth referencing. Uh, and just a testament to you guys and how much you guys have uh, jumped on board into the community and jumped on board into um, talking about the market and just hanging out and chilling on YouTube uh, and, you know, having a conversation with each other um, about the market. I mean, I started this year around like, I think I was like 700 or 800 subscribers. That's literally all the subscribers that I had. I hit a thousand in March and it's just been uphill ever, ever since then. So that's just a testament to you guys. And um, I am very, very thankful for you guys and how much you support this channel and watching the videos, commenting on the videos, liking the videos, showing your friends the videos, sharing videos and stuff like that. Uh, I, my aim here is to help as many people as I can and to put out quality market content, quality FIFA content to, um, you know, help you guys have a better FIFA Ultimate Team experience. That's what I'm here for. So we're going to do that again today, talking about when to buy some teams for the team of the year time period? That's a big question a lot of people have right now because a lot of these cards have dropped a ton on the market and people have the question, yo, when do I buy this card? I wanna get this prime icon. I wanna get this nominee. I wanna get this inform. I wanna get this special card. I wanna get this gold card. I wanna get this team of the year card. What's gonna be the buy time for a lot of stuff? I don't wanna talk about team of the years, I guess, that much just yet. We'll talk about those kind of in a later video. And that also is going to just depend on what happens when they come out. But we're talking stuff that is non-team team of the year related today because a lot of people want to build a team, right? Because the market is so low. Maybe you've sold your squad. You have a couple players that you need to buy to finish your squad. This is kind of like a Black Friday type period. I feel like the most uh, centralized time in this game where people build teams is Black Friday and Team of the Year because they're two massive promotions where there's tons of packs being opened in the store. We've got lightning rounds upon lightning rounds upon lightning rounds, and there's incredible cards and packs. They do that now with Black Friday, but especially with Team of the Year, we have insane cards and packs, and everybody's trying to get a Team of the Year, and people save packs for this promo and stuff like that. So the market's already low now heading into this time period. So it's making it really interesting this year. Uh, and we're going to look at some stuff from last year. Uh, but I don't know if last year really apply, applies exactly uh, like it's going to happen this year. I'm not sure if this market is going to mimic the market that we saw last year. You're going to hear me refer to Black Friday of this year a lot because I think the market this year is going to be very similar to how the market was Black Friday this year because this is a huge promo where it's largely pack-based. We do have some SBCs that come out more than Black Friday. Um, but Black Friday this year was just a total pack promo. There was not a lot of other content besides the just packs on packs on packs and FIFA points and stuff like that. And EA succeeded because they sold out their lightning rounds on the big days. And they had like 250,000 125k packs. So I think they're going to do that again for team of the year. Uh, there'll be more SBCs and stuff. And we'll talk about SBC fodder, you know, buying some of the cheapest 86s, 87s and stuff like that a little bit later. But this again is gonna, we're going to start talking specifically, specifically about buying teams and buying players for your teams and when might be the best time to do that. So we're going to start with like gold, gold cards, lower tier informs and move our way up into the most meta things, icons, uh, other out of pack specials and stuff like that. I don't want to take too long, so I'm going to try to keep rolling through these quickly. If you have any comments, again, at any point in the video, drop down in the comments, ask your question. I'll try to get to it if I can. There's a lot of other people that answer uh, comments down below as well. So, first thing, a lot of you guys like Griezmann, Aubameyang, any like higher rated in packs meta gold card. It's going to be in packs during team of the year. Uh, barring some crazy thing where they put a lot of cards in packs again, like team of the year nominees, if they put all those in packs again during team of the year, then you might see something a little different. But if it's a gold card that is in packs during team of the year, look what happened to this Griezmann last year, right before team of the year starts, literally the, the day before team of the year, he's, he's like 200,000 coins team of the year hits. He's 180. And he kind of just drops down the whole time during the week. And then on the weekend, when a majority of the packs are opened for the full team being in packs, he drops down on another, what is that, like 10%-ish, 20%? Yeah, it's about like 15, 10 to 15% drop right there. So 
Uh, a lot of the gold cards that are going to be at PAX, this would be like a guy like Fabinho or uh, maybe even a gold like Gareth Bale or a Varane. Like a Varane is a very popular card this year. Um, what happened to him during Black Friday? Well, he shot up like crazy on the market after Black Friday. He went down a bunch before Black Friday. 186 all the way up to 225,000 coins, back down to 130K. Will he rise back up to like 217K? No, the rises you're going to see after Team of the Year won't be as drastic as they were after Black Friday, but um, you will see some rises on those because people want to put them in their teams. There's new people on the game that want to get these cards and stuff like that. So talking about like when to buy some of these gold cards, I would wait to buy a lot of these until... Uh, the lightning rounds actually come out on the weekend of team of the year. Like you don't have to, unless they put the nominees back in packs and a Varane wouldn't go out of packs, but was great. Does a Griezmann have, no Griezmann doesn't even have a nominee. Um, but let's say, let's say somebody like, uh, who's a really good card, like a bombing, a bombing is a team of the year nominee, right? Let's say you want a bombing's gold card for your team, but then this card goes into packs. So then this one's out of packs, 95 K for the gold card so far which is pretty cheap. You might see that rebound a tiny bit go up because he's out of packs. But uh, other than that, the gold cards and a lot of that type of stuff is just going to be a buy uh, at the end of team of the year in the last couple days before the team of the years go out of packs and everybody is spamming packs and spamming and spamming and spamming and stuff like that. So that's what I think for a lot of those cards. I want to talk about um, other lower tier informs, right? My favorite example when looking at informs on the lower end of things is Saul. Where is Saul? What team of the week is he from? Team of the week seven. This card right here fluctuates a ton. He's one of my favorite Thursday flipping cards on this game. Uh, and he he is one of my favorites because he, he kind of fills a void that is not super, there's not a lot of special cards that are center mids in La Liga that have solid box-to-box -box stats. And this guy's got higher work rates, great box-to-box -box midfielder. Cards like this, out of packs, informs, you're going to want to buy these as early as possible. We're talking like possibly before Thursday flipping this week. And this is kind of my talk and kind of my thinking about the market and how it sits right now as we go take a look at Saul. So many people are either just putting this game down right now at the moment that there's there's just not a lot of listings. There's just not a lot of people playing FIFA is what it seems at the moment. And that for me makes it makes me want to buy. If I was somebody who wanted to buy a team, seeing that there's not a lot of people on the game would make me want to buy because that means a lot of people have sold. If you see the market trends, all these cards are down a frick ton uh, just because people are kind of done with them. Either they're done with FIFA or they're just done with FIFA for the time being. And they're going to come back when the content heats up again during team of the season. Um... But a lot of those people have sold, right? And you see, you know, we'll take that right there. Chesney for 37K. He was 45K earlier today. You know, stuff like that just sits on the market because there's nobody that's on this game right now. Like I can make a make like 5K on that transaction right there. There's just nobody on this game right now to buy cards. And that's part of me saying, that's why part of me is thinking, yo, this might be one of the times to buy a team on some areas of the market. So again, the low meta informs and stuff, I think you might want to buy those before this weekend, right? Or maybe if you want to chance it, you wait a little bit later until weekend league sell-off. So those are kind of my two options. Either you buy before weekend league this weekend, you buy on a Wednesday or today, or you wait until weekend league sell-off if you think there's going to be more info on team of the year, you think there's going to be more info on some of that stuff. That's, that's Those are like the two main options, I guess, because I think you want to buy before. Again, we looked at some of the prices and how they reacted after Black Friday. Now, obviously, we can we can use Saul as an example, but I mean, he had the P the PKSBC helped him out around the Black Friday time period. But this guy went from 40k all the way up to Black Friday. It was up at 50, 60 thousand coins, and he kind of held that price, right? The PKSBC helped again with the links to PK. That's why he went up so sharply here. But he held his price right around 60k through Black Friday. And if you look at a lot of stuff in this game, a lot of it went up a bunch uh, after Black Friday. Let's look at like this. Let's look at a popular card in the game really fast. I'll find like a, a scream card or something. Like let's look at Firmino, like this Firmino card who is down a absolute load. I cannot believe how low this guy is. It's crazy, right? But what happens after Black Friday? Boom. The guy goes from 790 all the way up to 928. So 750 to 928k. I don't think you're going to see that crazy of a rise again, but I think that's how it's going to go for team of the year. I think you're going to see a lot of these cards 
Team News is going to come out. They're going to be super duper expensive. People are going to realize that they can't afford them. And you're going to see a lot of these out of pack special cards just bounce, right? So again, the main point here is that you're buying your team before Team of the Year actually gets released. So for me to right now, 725,000 coins, just as Flippin said. But yeah, that's the thing for me. If you guys are buying any inform, any out of pack special card, even Road to the Finals, we looked in this in the video yesterday. Um, the road to the finals last year didn't really move. They didn't really move. And I think that was just because they were supplied on the market a lot more last year than they are this year. Uh, this year, these cards are super rare. Uh, road to the final cards, is, do I have a Depay on the market here under 200? I don't. These cards are so freaking rare, but a lot of them make it into popular foot squads, right? If you look at some of these road to the finals, people know they're getting upgraded, but they're just popular cards. Allen, Militao, um, you know, Bale, Marquinhos, Torreya, Martial, a lot of guys get into the main, they, they fit that OP meta. And these cards are just so rare this year that I think they're going to rise during team of the year as people build teams with them, even though they don't get upgraded until February. I do think you're going to see some of these cards rise in price over that time period. Um, and again, scream cards are really rare as well. We just looked at Firmino, all of those scream cards. I mean, I would expect almost every single one of them to rise, especially if it's a really OP usable card. I mean, I still look at Otamendi as a very, in a very high commodity position. Again, there's not a lot of, uh, special center backs in the Prem. Uh, and this is a pretty, pretty stinking good card. You know, at a face value card, 200 K for this, he was like 280 at one point. Um, after Black Friday, I think so. 210,000 coins for this is pretty crazy. He still hasn't really recovered since the Sanchez Footmas SBC. That's something to think about, but I think that that card could do well after Black Friday. Again, out of pack specials. Again, you're kind of really looking at two, two buy times for that. If you think it's, it's up to personal preference too, but the main thing is you're buying before the team of the year actually comes out because after that, you're probably just going to see the market continue to rise and things to go up after you see um, people starting to build teams, right? They open up all their save packs on that first day, or even if they save until Friday, some people are done opening their packs then or spending their FIFA points or whatever. And you start to see the market trickle up, uh, as people get more coins, there'll be, there'll be daily challenges, team of the year challenge SBCs. If they do that, according to last year as well, putting coins on the market, and that'll cause things to rise as people get coins back because a lot of people lost coins in the last month or so with footmas SBCs and with the market dropping. Then I think all those SBCs packs being open will inflate the market with coins and you will see stuff go up. Now let's talk about some meta cards, right? Like a lot of you guys want this Mbappe version or you want this Mbappe or you want the left mid Mbappe or even just gold Mbappe, right? If Mbappe gets a team of the year, uh, that's... All the cards that get team of the years, it's it's something that you have to kind of consider. Even Messi has an SBC that is about to expire. Uh, and I think that might increase the value of this card, of this card, and honestly, of all of his special cards. To be honest, I think Messi's special cards could take a bump up in value just because of the fact that um, he no longer has that SBC there to kind of hold his cards in check. If the team of the year comes out and the pack weight is like ridiculously low on those cards and nobody's packing them and Messi's team of the year card is like seven or eight, mil like eight or nine million first day maybe. And even heading into the weekend, it's still like seven, eight, nine million coins. And it only drops down to five after the weekend when it's in packs. Then I would think that you would see that uh, team of the group stage. And honestly, even this team of the year nominee card I do think you would see a rebound and on the gold messy as well as it's out of packs because there's just becomes a point where you have to realize that people can't afford that card. So depending on the price of the team of the year card, you know, you guys like Messi, if Ronaldo gets a team of the year card, if Mane gets one, if uh, Conte, we looked at Conte's inform last year on that video from last week, Conte's gold card last year, since it's such a meta and such a used card in FIFA, it rose, right? An out of packs gold card rose a little bit. But the tricky situation is with those Mbappes, maybe if Neymar gets in team of the year, that would be something. I know a lot of you guys want to buy this card. He's out of packs right now, so I would still say maybe hold off a little bit. Like right now, he's he was uh, 670K on uh, Saturday night in the weekend league sell-off. His card's out of packs right now because he has a team of the week item that's going to be, well, this card will go back into packs, but... 670 for this card, I think is a great price. Anything under 700K for this, I think is pretty solid because this is going to be one of the most sought after cards again 
after Black Friday. The last thing that I want to talk about before we kind of wrap this up and, and talk, talk again overarching themes is uh, Prime Icons. Prime Icons are very, very rare on this market. Their prices have trickled off to a lot more reasonable range. But right now on the market, there's only four Desai's. Are you kidding me, dude? Four Desai Prime cards. These cards are so stinking rare in the game that, in my opinion, they have to drop. Some of the guys have reached a price which seems reasonable. Some of these icons are kind of at a reasonable price for what I would say for those cards is reasonable, but especially for some of the top two guys, wow, 7-7, seven, seven, geeks. So some of these guys have dropped a lot, but I still think there's room to drop because they're going to get packed a lot. This goes for the middle cards as well. You're going to see a lot of these cards just get packed because it's going to be so many lightning rounds, so many cards entering the market. How much is uh, 94R9? He is... He is six, still six three, six three, six two. So, yeah, I think a lot of these cards are going to get packed and they're going to go down in price, but they're going to rise up shortly as we end up through team of the year because people are going to be buying these cards for their teams, right? So, the best time to buy some of these super duper meta icons, if it's something that's like a Eusebio or a Cruyff, uh, even if it's like a middle Cruyff, if you haven't bought this card yet, he was like 2.6 earlier today, he was at 2.5 at one point. And it looks like right now he is 2.7. Wow, 2.7. Crazy. All right, so he's a little bit rare at the moment. Unless I missed one, which I don't think I did. 2.735. So he's actually he's actually kind of up at the moment. But stuff like that, you're going to want to try to catch during lightning rounds using a, like a, a basic chem style filter on whatever icon you're trying to look for. Or even just doing icon 59th minute sniping with a basic chem style filter. That's what I'm thinking for the icons. Probably try to snag those during lightning rounds uh, and stuff like that. But again, any out of packs card, you know, it seems a little bit risky to buy before the promo comes, but the market is just so stinking low right now that if it goes any lower, uh, if it goes any lower, it's probably not going to be too much. And then the rebound will still be crazy after that. That's my opinion, because I think from Black Friday is, again, going to be a good comparison to how the market is going to react to this team of the year promo. I think we're going to stay low heading into team of the year, and it's going to start to trickle up. It's even going to start to trickle up beforehand, I think, because people are going to say, yo, this market has been too low for too long, and they're going to start buying, right? So that's how I kind of feel about a lot of this stuff. If you want to build a team, if that's your main main thing that you want to do during team of the year, I would start to look into setting that team up. First of all, have an idea of what team that you're trying to build and what team you're trying to get. But then uh, start looking at those prices and thinking, is this too low? Is this too low? And uh, that's something that I would consider. Look at the graphs. And if it's, I mean, some of the stuff is just getting like tasty, man. Like this Mbappe, 1.8 mil is crazy. This card was 3.1 like million coins first couple days, absolutely selling its its boots off right away off the game. Like one of the coolest dynamic images. Obviously, if he gets a team leader, it's going to be nuts. Stuff like that. So it's kind of a little bit of a guessing game, but especially on the lower tier market. Again, like this Sterling card, he's not getting a team of the year. Like 99% sure he's not getting a team of the year, right? So this might be a card that a lower level budget player might be wanting to buy a right wing in the Prem. Pacey, it's Raheem Sterling. He's English. You know, come on. Usable guy in the game. Even this Firmino card, probably not getting a team of the year. Uh, De Bruyne could get a team of the year. But especially the low budget stuff. If you're buying a team that's anywhere under a million coins, even like 1.5 mil, I would say that kind of stuff is definitely a buy before team of the year. If any of those players are icons, if any of those players are getting a team of the year card themselves, like an Mbappe, De Bruyne, uh, or maybe even uh, Van Dyke, then I would maybe hold on to that. Uh, but again, I think the safe route is to just get that team. When, if you're buying when nobody else is buying, I have not heard anybody say buy your teams yet. If you're buying before everybody else is buying, it is risky. Uh, because you don't have that luxury to sit there and, and wait and see, was that a good deal? Did the market go any lower? But when nobody else is buying, I mean, this is the this is the case for a lot of stuff, right? When we know something is coming, like 83s, right? We know that 83s usually go up during Black Friday. If you're one of the first people to buy on something like that, you make the most return on your investment. You get the better price because nobody else is thinking about buying, right? Now, of course, uh, sometimes the markets can still go lower than them. That's that's the only the only uh, issue with buying before team of the year right now. And what we've talked about today is you run the risk of losing a little bit of coins 
on just something crazy coming out during team of the year, but I'm just not entirely sure that that's going to happen uh, based on what team of the year has been and based on what team of the year is. So I, I wouldn't be too afraid of buying, especially in a lower tier budget, a lot of those cards. One last thing I want to point out, this has been changed. They originally in here, it said January 6th, and now it just says will be announced in early January. I don't know what the change for that is. I wonder if it's because it says the final team of the year will be announced. The final team of the year. I don't know last year if we get the final, the whole starting 11 of team of the year. I don't know if we got that on day one. And maybe that's why they had to change up their wording because the final team of the year might not be actually shown to everybody on day one. They might release it in stages. You know, the first day they might do the defenders and goalkeeper. Then the next day they'll do midfielders. Then the next day they'll do um, attackers. And then after that, you'll have the full team of the year. But I wonder if that's why they changed the wording or if they're actually going to change the date, but I don't think the date's going to change. So if you're worried about that as well, I guess you could wait. So again, I see two possible buy times for this market, especially if you're in a lower tier area, cards that are under like 500K, to be honest with you, that are out of pack specials. Um, if it's a gold card, you can wait on it. If it's like a gold Griezmann who should be in packs, if it's a gold Aubameyang, if it's a gold, uh, you know, even a gold Ter Stegen. I don't know if Ter Stegen's going to win team of the year. It might be Allison. It could be Ter Stegen. So there's always a, there's, there's always a lot of like, um, special circumstances with some of these cards in this game because of do they get a team of the year? Do they not get a team of the year and stuff like that. But if you're looking to buy a team, if you're going to start to piece together a team, all those out of packs informs road to the final cards, ultimate scream items, even team of the group stage cards, I would say really start to look at those before the actual promo starts so that you can get ahead of the game, get those cards in your club because the market is so stinking low already. I think people have started to quit this game and team of the year is going to bring them back and they're going to want to build teams and play the game and have fun with it. And they're going to open packs as well. And especially all the new people that are on the game after getting the game for Christmas and stuff like that, they're going to want to open packs and all that. So again, compare this market uh, and how I think team of the year is going to work. Look back at Black Friday trends if you want some examples for some of the cards that you're looking to buy and stuff like that. So we're going to do a couple more videos on this and monitor the market and monitor prices and stuff like that. But this is kind of the first preliminary one that I wanted to talk with you guys about today because I know the biggest question right now is, or one of the biggest question is, when do I buy my team? So hopefully that clears up some items for you guys. It's a long one, but I wanted to just continue to kind of tell you and sort things out and kind of lay it out in front of you. So that, that can help make you a make a better decision, make you a more informed person so that you can make a better decision about your FIFA Ultimate Team and what moves that you need to make. If you enjoyed this video, please smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.